have been just kind of not really myself. Um, I've had a lot of lower back pain and hip issues today, so as much as I tried doing my dishes, it didn't really work out. Um, spent the day kind of trying to work on a project, but the pain was just really getting to me, so I've just kind of been vegging out and yeah um just kind of i don't know it's been a quiet day kind of a lonely day It's been a long day today. Um, I've been having a lot of discomfort and pain in my hips and in my back and my shoulders, especially my left shoulder. Um, I go to physical therapy again tomorrow. I woke up this morning in excruciating pain between my shoulder blades. Last night I actually had to sleep with my legs up if I was on my back, even if I was on my side, I had to have my feet up. It was really weird. Kind of sucked. Um, and then just been noticing, especially today, I've had some really bad case of the dropsies. Um, this morning, I went to go make coffee, grab my creamer out from the fridge and I get the big one that's like a half gallon and dropped it right on the floor. I thought it broke. Thankfully it did not. Almost dropped the coffee. Opened all over the floor. That was a would have been a brand new container. Um thankfully it landed upright on the counter. Um yeah, it's just been a really bad day when it comes to the dropsies, so I get them every once in a while where it's like I have a hold of it and then it's like, oh, you're my brain's like, oh, you think you have a hold of it. Watch what I can make you do. And it just drops it. So I guess I've always kind of associated that with my neuropathy. I don't know if that's really the case. Bless you, Gemma. But that's just kind of what I've done with it. Last night was a really rough night. I had a really hard time falling asleep. Uh, due to pain in my left hip and back and shoulders. Today was a very busy day. I had a lot of paperwork to fill out for Social Security as well as some paperwork to do my recertification for where I live. And I had to make some appointments and schedule rides for my appointments. And then I still had to go to physical therapy today. So it was a very busy day without really having to leave my house. Um, I've just been kind of resting. They did some, we did some different things for my shoulders uh, for physical therapy today. And that's, I guess it wasn't as bad as what it was last time. Last time it was really painful afterwards and Today, it hasn't been quite as bad. Um, I just kind of have taken it easy. I haven't really, I really need to clean my house, but I really haven't. Just trying to get back into my groove of things after this flare up. Um, we had like a our hottest day of the year in October yesterday. It was like 97 degrees and it's fall. Our, you know, so uh, yesterday was a really gorgeous day, and then today is literally 50 degrees colder than yesterday, and I really just, I felt that throughout my entire body today. So it, hopefully, the weather will just decide to kind of cooperate and just kind of not vary so much. It's very difficult when it, when it goes up and down like that.
Um, so tomorrow my plan is to clean up some of my apartment and just try to get through the day. Um, I'm still doing really good without take, without smoking, and I actually haven't been taking the Chantex. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It has been a few days without Chantex. I'm not sure how long it's been since I last took the Chantex. But for sure it's been since October 1st since I've had a cigarette, and I'm really excited about that one. Uh, so we will just keep taking it day by day, and we will get there. Hi guys. Um, today it's been a relatively quiet day. I did some cleaning <clears throat> because I have been doing a lot of art projects and kind of made my house quite the mess and I ended up overdoing it today. Um, yeah, I didn't really, I don't even know. I cleaned up the living room but it's not like I cleaned up the living room. I picked up stuff. I didn't dust. I didn't vacuum. I didn't even fold the basket of laundry that has been sitting in my living room since I washed it, like, last week. I don't even remember when I did the laundry. Anyways, it's still sitting in the basket in the living room, unfolded, and I have just been kind of trying to take a little bit of a vacation and when I work on my art projects that kind of gives me that freedom that vacation and it kind of took over my house uh so it was definitely time for a little bit of a reality check and some much needed cleaning but it really took a toll on my body and I've been having some numbness and tingling and pain down my legs and a lot of tightness and pain and tenderness in my back, uh, both my lower back and in between my shoulders where I've been having my problems. Um, my normal pain medication really isn't doing anything to help alleviate any of it. So I got something done, not everything I wanted to get done today. And right now I'm just kind of gathering my thoughts. I have a few appointments coming up that I need to make sure I have my questions for the doctors and um, kind of my own ideas for a treatment plan to see what they think is, is going to work and what they think isn't going to work and go from there. Um, one of my appointments for later this week was rescheduled for next week. And, uh, after this week, as of Thursday, I will be going to physical therapy only once a week. I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Um, right now it kind of seems like the weather has not decided to be quite as bipolar as it was over the weekend so it seems to be studying out so hopefully that will help calm some of the pain pain down as well and it's just one day at a time sometimes it's hour by hour and i'm making it i'm not giving up i'm still here still fighting and I try every day to do something more than I did the day before. <clears throat> Today was a difficult day. Um, I woke up this morning after just a few hours of sleep and the only way I was even able to get those few hours of sleep was to take some pain medications and I ended up having to wake up and take some more and after tossing and turning finally was able to fall asleep again for a few hours and when I got up I had some extreme difficulties getting out of bed my bed is really low to the ground the floor um and then once I managed to get out of the bed, I had to use the restroom and ended up 
basically stuck at the toilet for a while. Um, I have not been able to stand for very long at all today. Uh, I just, my hips and my legs just won't take it. And I took a little nap today. I did, however, um, participate in a Spoonie chat on Twitter. And it was kind of nice to, it was different. Um, first time doing it and met some cool people and got to chat with them for a little bit. Um, kind of excited to follow some new people and see what they have going on for themselves and, and ways that they deal and manage and cope and all of that stuff. Uh, so it's been a day. Um, I've had to repeatedly take pain medications alternating between the prescription muscle relaxers that I have and the Tylenol and just trying to get on top of it and it's not working very well. So here's to hoping tomorrow's a better day. I go and see the sleep doctor tomorrow. It's not really going to tell me much because I can't take the stimulant that he wants me to take at this time. So it's kind of at a standstill for the time being, but I'm going to talk to him about getting an actual diagnosis and to see since the clonopin didn't help if that means I actually have narcolepsy or if it's just a strange sleep disturbance or what exactly is going on. Um, and then I have physical therapy tomorrow as well. So hopefully I won't be late when I come back because they're kind of close together time-wise, but I think I should be able to swing it and not be late for my other appointment. I got back from my sleep doctor not too long ago, and I walked out of this doctor's office having been told that I have narcolepsy. Um, the clonopin did not work for me. It made me more tired. I could not ever fully awake, no matter how much caffeine or lack of caffeine or how much sleep I got, I was still tired. Um, now the only option are stimulants, but I cannot take them because of wanting to get pregnant. Um, once we have that figured out and kind of have a game plan with that, then it's time to go on to a stimulant. Until then, I have to have no caffeine after, like four hours before bed, at least four hours before bed. Uh, no smoking, which I haven't smoked since like September 26th, I think was the last date I had a cigarette. Um... I have to find a time to go to bed and stay consistent with it and a wake up time to be consistent with it. The doctor did say that I could take like 10, 15 minute naps, but for me, it feels that if I take a nap and it's not like two hours, it's, there's no point in me taking this nap. It does not do anything to help me wake up or feel more awake or more refreshed or rejuvenated. None of it. In fact, usually I feel more tired and I'm more cranky. So that's how we're going to start with it. And we're going to just keep going from there.